Israel seeks Turkish air base for attack on Iran. A recent report says the visit by Israeli National Security Council head Yaakov Amidur to Turkey is aimed at securing an air base in Iran's neighbor to pave the way for a military attack against the Islamic Republic. In an article, the Sunday Times said that during his visit on Sunday, Amidbar is expected to solicit Turkey's agreement with regard to the deployment of Israeli fighter jets in Aikens Air Base, northwest of Ankara, in exchange for advanced military equipment and technology, the Times of Israel reported. Until the recent crisis, Turkey was our biggest aircraft carrier. Using the Turkish air bases could make the difference between success and failure once a showdown with Iran gets underway, Sunday Times quoted an unnamed Israeli military source as saying. Ankara agreed to restore relations with Tel Aviv on March 22 after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu apologized to Turkey for the deaths of nine Turkish activists in the 2010 Israeli attack on a Gaza-bound international flotilla. Israel also agreed to pay compensation to the families of those who were killed by Israeli commandos. The apology was brokered by U.S. President Barack Obama during his recent visit to Israel. The Israeli source added that the regime's military has been lobbying hard for the politicians to find a form of apology in order to restore the Israeli-Turkish alliance against Syria and Iran. The trip comes as the Israeli military chief recently repeated its war threats against Iran, saying the regime can invade Iran on its own. We have our plans and forecasts. If the time comes we'll decide on whether to take military action against Iran, Lt. General Benny Gantz said on April 16. Netanyahu has also recently said that the U.S. engineered sanctions against Iran over its nuclear energy program might not be enough. The U.S., Israel and some of their allies accuse Iran of pursuing non-civilian objectives in its nuclear energy program with the Israeli regime repeatedly threatening to attack Iran's nuclear facilities based on the unsubstantiated allegation. Iran argues that as a committed signatory to the Non-Proliferation Treaty NPT, and a member of the International Atomic Energy Agency EEA, it has every right to use nuclear technology for peaceful purposes. Iran has further promised a crushing response to any act of aggression against it. Unlike Iran, Israel, which is widely believed to possess between 200 to 400 nuclear warheads, is a non-signatory to the NPT and continues to defy international calls to join the treaty. Ankara, Turkey. Sunday, April 21, 2013. Press TV. Produced by Dial Plus.